Lace him up, mammals. Dino body, you're watching Jasmus Rider video reviews. And you will enjoy it the old fashioned way. Brutally! The Transformers review. Today we're taking a look at Transformers animated Grimlock. I've already done a review of Grimlock before, this Grimlock before, and I decided to redo it, so it's going to just be called um, Jasmus Rider's Video Reviews, it's colon, and the name of the character, and the line, and, well, this is Grimlock. I'm not going to go into the detail and look at the detail and talk about the detail, that's what um, that's what my new style is for. Um, I zoom in and take a look, and then I edit it and stuff like that. I'm not getting into that everything. But let's just take a look at the color scheme. It's it's the typical Grimlock gray with the typical Grimlock gold, typical Grimlock red, and everything. And then you got the animated Adnus by Derek J. Wyatt of the mouth. Me Grimlock like Derek J. Wyatt to bring me back as the Autobot Dinobot leader. And accessory wise it comes with his flame sword. It was a very nice take on it as well. I think you can get him to hold it in his mouth. Nah, no, it doesn't look right, does it? So yeah, th this is it. So let's get into the detail. Yeah, so let's get into the deeds. So he is a very, very nice figure. Articulation, well, you got the you got leg movement here. You can pivot anywhere. You got it bending at the knee and at the bottom of his foot, and rotate rotates at the foot or ankle at the moment. It is that what's good. You got you could say that's tail movement there, but still not to me. It doesn't look like it, and. And so that's pretty much the beast mode or dino mode of Grimlock. Um, yeah, dino mode of Grimlock. And that's a really, really nice thing. So, transformation. <laughs>
So here we have Grimlock in his robot mode. Very, very nice. I do love the whole G1-esque type look. Um, before I get into the detail again, let's compare him to his masterpiece um, G1 self. It it looks like I'm actually actually took in the scene from um, from my masterpiece Grimlock review and just stick it into this and then re re go over um, the whole the re go over the whole thing but replacing MP and that with animated. But as you can see, you still got that nice computer -y effect there inside here. Was actually very nice. You got not much then from downwards and the feet. You could say these parts of the feet here could represent the front bits of the feet on Masterpiece. Um, but that's all that is really accurate to... Oh, and the head sculpts. The head sculpts are really nice as well. More, I'll talk to that more in the detail part of the review or the re um, section. And, um, and it's just all nice and that so let's put him out of the way so let's get on to the detail Okay, so that was the detail part of the review and articulation. You got forwards, back, out, in, bend at elbow, ro elbow, knee, rotate pretty much at the knee because that's the knee joint, pretty much where the knee joint is. Waist articulation. Very nice waist articulation. I do love when a figure has waist articulation. Head articulation, but can't go full 360 due to jaw just stops and hits the side. So that's pretty much it. Arms, full 360. Can go sort of out and in. Bends at elbow and rotates at the wrist. And individual movement in the fingers was very nice as well. So that's pretty much the de um, the articulation. So let's get to gimmicks. Gimmicks, anybody? Um, this is the sword. Very nice detail. I love the translucent orange, and I love how how the, it all like makes it look like molten rock forming, and then it look it's like molten lava around here. It's very very nice, and I can't rem I can't remember my geography very well. Yes, I did take for GCSEs, and I got a D for it. That's not the side. Besides the point, you got the nice, oh, you got the nice gold here, and it's just absolutely amazing. Um, weaponry, I will explain the detail, but main detail on the figure, I won't explain, because I think it's better for you guys just to see how much detail it is through music and stuff like that. But, but it's very nice detail, and this also has a gimmick of itself. In this translucent orange, there is a button. And you want to open this hand, and there's like a little tab there. We'll push inside this. So you want to push the sword in. Can't see that. So you want to put it in the fingers. Then you want to just rotate it slowly. 
and these flames pop out these extra flames on the side will pop out so you can literally just put them back in I'll do it slowly so you can see I don't know if you can see it but there's a lot of nice flames in there and it's just basically his sword and that's very, pretty much a nice gimmick for him to have and you can get him into nice poses with his sword and everything it's very nice I do love this and everything and I'm pla and just before I go, um, I recommend you picking Grimlock up, of course. It's a very nice figure to add to your animated collection. It's a very nice figure to include in any of your Transformers um, collections. Because it's the first time we actually get a nice styled Grimlock. And he actually appears in a series um, and everything. What well, was very nice. The last Grimlock toy I passed, I wanted to get it, but I passed on it. Because I can't find him now. But this is just remarkable. I just enjoy um, having this one along with my masterpiece and everything. And I'm planning to do a Ustream um, channel, a Ustream, a Ustream account. And um, what's going to happen on the Ustream account is either reviews that I want to do straight off hand, no editing, just. Um, standalone reviews that isn't that won't have no editing or anything but but you get to see the nice look of the figure and stuff like that and um and you get to see me reviewing see me cock up I don't mind if I cock up um just those individual reviews that I might not want to do a proper video of, but I might end up posting it on my channel just in case you missed it live. So I record it from Ustream and um, I get it onto my channel so you guys can see it with the chat on, of course. You can ask me questions and that even during the review and stuff and I might even do question and answers on my Ustream account but I'm not gonna do it unless you guys would like to do that because there might be some time some segments that might include include questions answers or me even showing you guys how I actually edit my videos it all depends really so this is the video review for, for Grimlock and if you want me to do a star Ustream account please PM me or leave a comment on my channel or leave a comment onto this video and if you want to send a video response um, relating to this figure of any animated figure or any toy that is Grimlock related or Dinobot related just post it onto this one or my last piece and and that's basically it so this is just me just signing out and saying this is the video review for of, of animated Grimlock I say pick him up and you saw the rest of it so this is Jasmine Rider signing out. Bye.